going on knuckleheads gkm gaming here with another lego legacy heroes unboxed video for you and today jester gogo -Go is the day i am surprising you with an early release of the ghost kit that's coming in the master event on halloween time just in time something real spooktacular and this one goes out to you mr gogo -Go. so let's take a look at the ghost tags first obviously he's a builder because he's a castle attacker spooky so i mean a lot of people are very excited for him for the spooky tag i can already tell you there's some really good good spooky synergies but don't sleep on him for a castle team as well uh because castle severely lacks solid attackers i mean okay, the princesses are good but i haven't seen ghost stats so i can't speak to that yet but I, you know, his kit looks really, really good, right? So they, they're saying he's a powerful attacker who can strike fear into the hearts of his enemies. So Ghost also strikes fear into the hearts of his friends as well. So we'll see what that means. I know that the Master event is going to go to at least a five-star unlock, but Master Wu coming back around and the six-star being available, I'm thinking it's going to be a six-star unlock for this Master event because... I get it with Primo, like, they didn't, you know, they just kind of wanted to put it out. They, it was no work, it was just putting it up. Uh, and I'm hoping they add a, at least one node to Primo the next time the Master Event comes around. But I would be honestly surprised if this Master Event only unlocked at 5 instead of 6. Also, Slimer, I thought they should have had him unlock. But, you know, we're level 16 now, so let's just get into it, right? So this is a, you know... This is a fall character, ghost, he's spooky, right? And what is spooky season without a little bit of that pumpkin spice, right? So this is actually a really solid basic. 110% damage, again, I, I don't know his stats yet. But there's an 85% chance to inflict defense down too for two turns. Okay, that's a pretty high chance. If the foe's already inflicted with the defense down, it's a critical. So I could basic you give you a defense down, and then basic you again on the next turn, and it's a crit. That's that's pretty good. That's like a that's almost like getting prepared, like a mini prepared. Uh, it has also a 65% chance to inflict defense down one on another random foe if you get that critical. And it lasts for two turns on both of them. So that's not really a bad thing, spreading out the debuffs. Uh, he does some really great debuff synergy, which almost makes me want to throw him on... You know, a little bit of a pirate hybrid team. But you, you know how I feel about my bucks. I can't just give them up. Uh, but Spooky also... You know, his synergies are heavy with Spooky. Spooky is a lot about debuffs too. Not as consistently as Buccaneers. But they do do a lot of de debuffs. And what I notice with Spooky is like when they really get those disarms from the set... It, it's very, very hard to deal with them. And then we got Jacked O-Lantern. 150% damage to a target foe and an 80% chance to inflict Vulnerable. Love me some Vulnerable. Next attack is guaranteed a crit, especially when you got big hitters like Spooky Girl or Ray. Not that Ray's, well, Ray, Ray's not weak. Uh, but this also gets a little more extra damage, Slimer. So there's 5% bonus damage, and it reduces pep by 5% for each debuff on a foe. No limit. Right, there's 10 debuffs on a foe, which I've seen many times with my Buccaneers. That's now a 200% damage hit, and it's reducing half of your pep. And if this ability defeats a target foe, it infix, inflicts fear on all foes for two turns. That is a really, really good, like, single target, focus you down attack, but it gets better. Right, he's got another really awesome, awesome move. Bomb Battalion. I'm assuming it's like a big bat is going to come out and drop little bats. Uh, deals 135% damage to a target foe. Okay, so it's it's another big hit. Uh, Ghost gains critical damage up two for two turns. And has a 55% chance to copy each buff, excluding Taunt. So glad they put it in there. Hopefully they move that put it in Magisto's basic. Uh, so copy each buff, excluding Taunt from the target photo himself, 
and another random hero. That is awesome. That's a nice little thing to have. If this ability critically hits, the chance is 80% instead. If this ability defeats the target foe, randomly copy each debuff on the defeated foe to a random foe. So there's some really nice synergies with if you set it up so that he can use his special abilities as kill shots, kind of like you would do with Kai, there are really good things that happen when you save the kill shot for Ghost. Like, let him get the kill, and really great things are going to start happening. And honestly, there's such good synergy that he gets... This special gives him the crit damage up, and then he's then he's got a better chance to do crits if the defense down is inflicted. You hit him with a basic next turn. It, it's... The inner kit synergy in the newer units they're creating is really, really rich. And I'm actually really impressed with whoever designed this unit, like did a really good job of creating just synergies within the kit. And I love it that it has like, there's some really big hits. Like this guy can hit hard. And it's not just like, it's not like Ash where there's one big attack and like one kind of cool AOE that's a, like a little big. You know, these are like, these are big attacks that do really big things. Not that I'm, you know, pooing on Ash. Ash is amazing. And his, his basic hits for 110. Again, it, it's all going to be all about stats. Uh, the passive, the great ghost. All right, this is very dense. Uh, so bear with me because there's a lot that goes into this passive. So the first part is whenever another hero falls below 50% health, ghost grants all hero stealth for one turn. He's excluded from this. So similar to how Slimer gets hit and then goes into stealth. Well, Slimer gets hit and falls below again. Everybody gets stealth. You get a stealth. You get a stealth. You get a stealth. And then Ghost also has a 15% chance to gain payback for two turns for each other spooky hero. Has nothing to do with anyone falling below 50%. So they fall below 50% health. He exists. That's what I'm thinking of. Literally, he just exists, and his turn comes, and he has a 15% chance for each other spooky hero. He's got, on a spooky team, a 60% chance to just gain payback, as, as if he wasn't hitting hard enough. And the payback is awesome, because as long as he's inflicting those defense downs, those paybacks can be can easily, easily become criticals. Right, so you get to, like, payback on him is insanely good. And that also goes back to, like I said earlier, don't sleep on him for a castle team because castle teams are all about payback. And I do think he actually would synergize pretty well with those the King's Court trio. Especially giving, like, now he's, imagine him giving stealth to, to those units, like Magisto under stealth, uh, Princess Storm under stealth, even though her AI is, is cheeks. So then, but there's more. Whenever a spooky hero gains stealth, he heals for 5% of his max health. So somebody falls below 50% and everybody gains stealth, he heals for 20% of his health. Slimer gets knocked into stealth, spooky girl goes under stealth, he heals for 5% of his health. He has an insane amount of sustain for an attacking unit. And it reminds me a little bit of Verda with like her having that little bit of sustain which keeps her around a little more. And having the stealth also helps. But he, I mean, you're going to see, he, he has a lot of sustain, like a lot of self-heals for an attacking unit. Uh, whenever a foe gains stealth, which obviously is going to happen all the time with him, he gain, uh, Ghost copies one of his debuffs to a foe. So this is now two ways that he starts, that he can take debuffs and copy them onto foes, which is always a good thing to make them pay for debuffing you. Then there's more. He has a really cool ability, which is going to synergize really, really well with uh, Willa and Basil if you are running him on a spooky team with Willow and Baza, Willa and Basil. And also, sidebar, I'm going to go over this in another video. Willa is going to become easier to farm. Uh, so keep that in mind, my friends. So whenever the first time a hero dies, so remember, it says first time, second time, third time. It doesn't say... First hero, second hero, third hero. It, it, it says time. So this is every time a hero dies. Even if they're both back, they die. First time a hero dies, 10% dodge chance. If the defeated hero was spooky, <coughs> Basil, he gains a 25% dodge chance and say, that's just 25% dodge. Not not like, you know, dodge up two. Just 25% dodge. You can't get rid of it. It's a permanent stat increase. Okay, Basil dies. Ghost gets dodged. He's a little harder to hit. 
Willow brings him back. Basil dies again, the second time. Plus 10 attack. As if this guy wasn't hitting hard enough already with those multipliers, now he's getting plus 10% attack. Oh wait, it was Basil. It was a spooky hero that was defeated. Oh, he gains 20% attack. And you could also... You could also probably run uh, Aurora or Yuppie on these teams too with them to get that maximum revive. So now he's got 25% dodge, 20% attack. Okay, third time a hero dies. Basil dies again, for instance. 25% chance to heal himself for 5% of his max health whenever he attacks. That includes counter attacks from payback. And if the hero defeated was spooky, it's a 50% chance. So every time he attacks now, he's going to be healing himself for 5% of his damage. Payback hits included. That is pretty gnarly if you ask me. And it wouldn't be a master event figure, except Slimer who didn't have it, without an ultimate. And I do love this ultimate. I love the haunted house in the back. I love the artwork for the ultimate. I think it looks fantastic. Spooky Capades. It deals 175% damage to target foe and inflicts heal immunity for two turns. All right? You hit them hard and they're not getting back up. Oh, heal immunity is going to be so cool. I, I like it now, but it's not really like too applicable in the game. But now you're going to start seeing it in the meta. Now you're going to start hitting red beards with these things. You're going to start hitting scarlets with these things. And it's going to put a real, real dent in those heavy sustain teams. But there's more. For each foe with stealth or three or more debuffs, his attack is increased by 10% when using this ability. So I'm assuming it means when he's using this attack, his attack goes up by 10% for each foe under self. That's potentially 40% more attack on top of 175% damage. For each other hero with stealth, Ghost clears one debuff from himself. So he can start clear. He could also cleanse himself if he's a, facing like a Ninjago team, for instance. And for each spooky hero for health, so we already we already got an attack increase for those spooky heroes being in stealth. He heals for ten percent of his max health. Like I said, this guy has a lot of sustain. He he's going to be relatively difficult to kill unless he's just like a super squish ball and you can one shot him. Um, but if you're running him on like a, a King's Court, like a castle team, you can kind of get him hardy. Uh, you know, this is a blow you up kind of thing. And what I really love about the heal immunity is that those characters with hardy that you blow up, like a Sal with hardy, and then he's got like one HP left, he can't be healed back up. So that's, that's a really awesome thing to do. I'm super excited for this figure. Hopefully, the space units, my five, uh, space units are good enough. I have a five-star Captain Cold is the one I'm most worried about. Kelvin, I just have to, you know, spend the gold to level up to seven. Uh, Dwayne is pretty high, but I'm not planning on using him. My Quincy is five-star. And obviously my Reed and Locust. I'm trying to get them as close to gear six as possible for that event, because I really do want to uh, unlock this figure. He's one of my favorite figures growing up, and I'm super excited that they finally put him in the game. Well, that's pretty much all I got for today, Knuckleheads. Please remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, ding that little bell for some notifications, and as always, remember to knuckle up. She blocked me on Instagram, Snapchat, I don't give a damn about that. I can see your face, still feel the same. I don't feel the need to forget your name.